Here they come. Where's Armony? Thank you. Hold it right there. Hey, if you can't tell, we're in a hurry! The report will have to wait! Hold it, I said! What's gotten into you? I was specifically asked not to allow your entry. By who? Is that so? Well, then we're just gonna have to force ourselves in! I'm sorry to do this, but we're not gonna hold back! Edward, you have to listen to us. There's no time! Armony's in danger! You never stop to think, do you? Think about Armony's feelings. Armony's feelings? Who cares? She's my... She's my... My apprentice. I have to help. I have to save her! What good is a master who can't help his apprentice? What good is alchemy then? So you have to. Yes, I have to! Then you give me no choice. You think we're only kids, don't you? And we'll grow up soon enough. But that's... that's not true for Armony. Now is all she has! I figured this day would come around sometime. Get out of the way! Unable to transmute a single thing. Is this the end? Is this it? Harmony! Ed. Oh. How could I be so helpless? Ed. Why couldn't I do anything? Ed. Why am I so powerless? Ed, look. <laughs> what is that? Feather? Armies? <laughs>
You must hate me by now, but... That's silly. How could I hate you? You don't have to talk anymore. My dear, you may not have realized this, but I have always loved you. I cared for you more than anyone else ever could. But no matter what I tried, I, I just couldn't understand what would make you the happiest. What I could do to make my daughter happy. Daddy, you're so silly. <laughs> Harmony. I knew. I always knew. Because, I mean, I'm your daughter and daughters always know. Daddy, I... Yes, dear. I am. I am your daughter, aren't I? Silly girl, of course you are. Uh, okay. I guess we're both silly then. Like a father, daughter. Harmony! Quiet. Don't be afraid. I won't let you go alone. This will be ours, only ours. see were they smiling Edward
Dear Ed, I'm writing this letter in preparation for our inevitable farewell. Well, I guess there's no reason to be so formal. But I know that when the time comes, I won't be able to tell you face to face. I mean, it might just degrade into another one of our shouting matches. And so I'll write. This way, I won't have any regrets. You know, Ed, you told me that no one can gain anything without making some kind of sacrifice. That the law of equivalent exchange in alchemy also applies to the order of the world. But I don't think that's necessarily true. Sometimes we can sacrifice all we want and never gain, while other things require no sacrifice at all. I can just picture you bellowing. You just don't get it. But Ed, I haven't sacrificed anything. I haven't been able to do a single thing for anyone else. Not just for you and Al, but for the pastor, or even for Daddy. And yet, in exchange, I've received something so big, I can't even begin to imagine what the equivalent price would be. Equivalent exchange may apply to the order of the world, but not to people. The human existence lies on a higher plane, one that's not bound by those silly rules. At, at least that's what I think. Hmm, <clears throat> sorry. I didn't mean to go off on a tangent like that. I really just wanted to thank you. So I'll write it right here. Thanks. And that's from the bottom of my heart. Whenever I think of you and Al, I'm so grateful. Not that I'd be able to tell you face to face, of course. But I couldn't possibly get away without letting you know. Even if there was nothing I could do or nothing I could give. So, yeah, I think this letter was a good idea. I hope you get what I'm saying. Maybe... No, I won't go there. It's getting noisy outside, so I'll stop here. Farewell, and take care. And thank you for everything. Best wishes to my small but mighty master. Let me help you make your wish come true. Yes, of course. The boys are here too. Harmony's 
alchemy never failed. It was just dormant. Mm, she may have become a great alchemist indeed. But if... if you die, then that's the end. Ridiculous. Let's go! Alright guys, I'm back. As you can probably figure. Sorry if I rushed a little towards the end. I'm kind of in a, a hurry. Because I only have like six hours of sleep. Well, I'm only going to have that after this right here. And I can't skip the, uh, the credits. So... The game won't let me. I still gotta take a shower, get some dinner, get ready to go 
sleep. I'll do another video later on showing some some stuff. I have been conducting an inside probe into the recent string of incidents which started with the devastation of the old town of Heesgard. I assumed the role of secretary to Professor Wilhelm Eselstein, who was considered a key participant in these events. The following is my report. A key factor in this incident was a material known as the Philosopher's Catalyst. Professor Azelstein, a leading authority on catalytics, had been conducting research on this fabled substance. If completed, this material would supposedly have had alchemy amplifying characteristics, similar to the mythical Philosopher's Stone. We found out that Professor Azelstein and his assistant Greta Riddell had been calling on hordes of alchemists to come to the town of Heesgard. We suspect that their plan was to use these alchemists in the completion of the Philosopher's Catalyst. We also discovered that the chimeras infesting Heesgard were originally created in New Heesgard Castle's underground laboratory. This also seemed to tie into Azelstein's plan. As director of the region, Brigadier Moody Nemda was well aware of the activities perpetrated by the Professor and Riddell. Nemda opted not to enforce the law and neglected his reporting duties to Central. In fact, Nemda had struck a deal for the secret development of combat chimeras in exchange for acquiescence of the Professor and Riddell's illegal activities. However, the central figure in the chimera development was not the Professor himself, but Riddell. Riddell was the one who initially contacted the Professor regarding the creation of combat chimeras. She was also responsible for arranging the relationship between the Professor and Nemda. We highly suspect that Riddell took the leading role in Heesgart's destruction and unleashed the chimeras in the Old City. The mayhem, a direct result of Riddell's desire to obtain the Philosopher's Catalyst, came to an end when Professor Azelstein sacrificed his life to keep the Catalyst from going out of control, leading to the disappearance of the new Heesgart alchemy works. Therefore, we have every reason to believe that Greta Riddell was the real mastermind behind this incident, and that both Professor Azelstein and Brigadier Nemda were merely pawns. Disciplinary actions against the persons involved are as follows. Colonel Gens Breslau, currently undergoing rehabilitation in the military hospital. Although Breslau's involvement in the incident remains a question mark, there is no doubt of a link to both Riddell and Nemda. He will most likely be questioned before being sent to trial in front of the military court. Incidentally, the ex-military policeman who conducted the recent train hijack has regained consciousness and testified that Gens Breslau's job was to bring alchemists to Heesgard. We are currently investigating the authenticity of his testimony. Brigadier Moody Nemda, now serving time in military prison. Considering his position as a high-ranking military officer, Nemda's blatant misuse of military arms and troops is a serious crime. In addition, 
Evidence indicates that he was plotting an insurgence against Central. Nemda has already been sentenced to 145 years in prison, but if further accusations are pursued, an additional 200 years may be added to his sentence. Greta Riddell, missing. Although regarded as the mastermind behind the incident, Riddell's identity and background remain a complete mystery. However, investigation regarding her alias of Camilla has turned up some interesting facts in Central's archives. This is not the first incident where certain activities were perpetrated by an individual named Camilla. In past reports, there are multiple instances of this individual, sometimes as a suspect, other times as a collaborator to the military. However, the oldest of these reports dates back to over 60 years ago. Although the records have many similarities, it would be unrealistic to regard these instances as pertaining to the same individual. Regretfully, Riddell has not been detained. Based on witness accounts, the possibility of her survival is extremely low, but to date, a body has yet to be found. Professor Wilhelm Azelstein, missing. Azelstein vanished along with the alchemy works. His survival is highly improbable. The fact that he was partaking in illegal activities amidst this chain of events is true. However, he also sacrificed himself to save countless lives from the out-of-control catalyst. It is unclear what he was after, or what he was trying to protect by obtaining the philosopher's catalyst. Whatever it was, we can say that Wilhelm was a man of contradictions. Reported by Lieutenant Hawkeye. Postscript. Due to the derailment of his train, a state alchemist was present in Heesgard during the incident. No evidence of his direct involvement has been found. Let's go! Get a move on, Al! Ed, slow down! There's no need to hurry! Indeed. The library isn't going anywhere. <laughs> ah, you're a bunch of slow bugs! <laughs> He's acting like a child. Mm. Oh, I beg your pardon. He is a child. It's okay. Ed, look out! Ah! <laughs> uh... Ed, can you go anywhere without plowing into people? Are you okay? Um, yes, I... Oh. <sighs> so sorry. That's okay, I'm alright. Here you go, I'm really sorry. Um, are you going to be okay? <laughs> Me? Never been better! <laughs> Let's get going, Al! Something the matter, Ed? No, nothing. Central, here we come! Next video will be a while, but it's nothing really. That's what happens. That's what happens when you beat the game. You get a clear save file. <laughs> save one more time. And I'll do, I'll do a video later on about what happens uh, with the clear save file. And let me. And if you didn't join me, thank you for not joining me. And if you have yet to. Oh, let me see. Thank you for watching this Let's Play with me.
or thank you for watching and if you didn't watch thanks for watching I guess or thanks for not watching but anyways uh <coughs> that's my third let's play I'm gonna upload four I wanna try to so my next let's play attempt will be at Chronicles of Narnia once I complete that let's play for the PS2 then I will upload all four and yeah after that if I can successfully do that do that one let's play that one then uh I think I may do four more which I normally do four take a break then for a few months to come back and do four more I may just do four and try to do four more I'm not I'm not quite sure yet but anyways thanks for watching if you didn't watch thanks for not watching or if you're gonna watch whatever and yeah that's about it I'll see you next time uh, t t today is September 4th no <clears throat> Saturday morning no Thursday Mo Thursday September 4th 4 a.m. So, 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 September 2nd 4 a.m. and yep I I work today and tomorrow which is today is Friday and I work Saturday I will try to uh, start my next let's play on Saturday because I work Saturday but I get off a little early <coughs> or late whatever around like four so yeah my, I, I will try to start my next let's play on Saturday once I get off and then Sunday I'm off and Monday I'm off so It'll be Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and from what I've heard, Chronicles of Narnia for the PS2, the very first one, isn't really a long game. <laughs> but until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure. This is Inquisitor Eisen on Overlips saying see you later.